Yo guys, welcome back to another video. So today is not going to be a very positive video. As you can see from the title, I'm quitting Fortnite. This video is mainly being made for the few people who actually do care about my Fortnite videos. If you don't care about Fortnite, then you can click off. But if you're still here, let's get into this. Now first of all, I do not hate Fortnite. The game is nice. I love this game. It's probably going to be one of my all-time favorite games. And Season 6 is nice as well. But I just don't see myself playing the game anymore. And second of all, this video will be split into three parts. Battle Royale, Longevity, and Save the World. Battle Royale and Save the World are self-explanatory. I'll talk about issues in those modes, but longevity has to do with how long Battle Royale survived and how it's been affecting the game in my eyes. So let's just jump into this. I have no idea how long this video may end up being, but I'm just going to shut up and get into the first topic. Alright, so let's talk about the main part of Fortnite, Battle Royale. I've been fully interested in Battle Royale since Chapter 1, Season 3, so I've witnessed a lot of errors of the game. I didn't start to get annoyed with Fortnite until Season X because of, you know, the mechs, but I at least still play the game often. On top of that though, Epic also added skill-based matchmaking, which I will refer to SBMM if I do talk about it more often. And that didn't really start to get annoying until later on though, so I'm not really mad about that. Like, I wasn't really mad about skill-based matchmaking until later on, so in the beginning it was fine. But in Chapter 2 Season 1, I really just started to lose interest. This is because of the super random extension of the season. The season was supposed to end on December 12th, but then it got extended to February 6th, and then on top of that they did it again and extended it to February 20th. During the first extension, I ended up getting really ticked off and ended up breaking my keyboard. This is a random keyboard by the way, I don't play keyboard and mouse so it doesn't matter. And at that point, I just quit playing for a little bit and just played Save the World, which that was the best decision I had made. Then Season 2 finally came out and I was hyped again. The battle pass was awesome and we finally had some content, but then the same thing happened. Just like Season 1, the season got extended. I lost interest again and just play Save the World again. And then Season 3 rolls around, and it surprisingly doesn't get extended, but after the water disappeared, the season just got really stale and boring. The theme in the season was splashed down, but the water disappeared too quickly, so it just defeated the purpose of even making it splashed down. And not to mention that Coral Castle was a huge letdown. We thought that there was going to be, like, Atlantean Fistic as henchmen, we thought Aquaman was going to be a boss since they put him in the battle pass, and then next thing you know, it's just some dirt. Like, that's all it is. Who cares about it? it it's so bad. And it's still not even gone to this day. But anyway, this time I didn't even play Save the World for a reason that I'll get into later. So I just played Warframe instead. And then Season 4 came around and surprisingly I actually had some fun during that season. It's probably my favorite season of Chapter 2. The only problem is the fact that the Battle Pass sucked due to it being full of built-in garbage. And then season 5 came around, and that's when I fully lost interest. Surprisingly, it wasn't even really the sweats that made me give up, which is usually people's reason why they hate Fortnite. It was the fact that the game went on longer than it should have, which is a perfect transition into the next topic. So what do I mean by longevity? What I mean is that this game managed to survive from 2017 all the way up to now. Typically, battle royales don't even seem to last as long as Fortnite has. Like just look at H1Z1 or PUBG, you don't hear anything about those. But you do still hear about Warzone, Apex Legends, and of course Fortnite. Warzone is still somewhat new as it only came out like a year ago, and Apex is around 3 years old now. And Fortnite will be 4 years old in a few months. These games got lucky with surviving unlike their predecessors, but even Apex is falling off a little bit. But we're not talking about those. The reason why this is a problem with Fortnite is that sometimes it really feels like Epic is just adding stuff to add stuff. When Fortnite was first revealed in 2011, Epic really thought that the game was going to fail. And now 10 years later, it's still popping, but it's really losing its touch. Games with simple objectives like BRs usually don't survive, and that's what happened here. Also, because it's been around for so long, people got very good at the game, and that's where the sweats came from. People say that Playground on Creative broke the skill gap because it was too easy to get better with those modes, and honestly, I do agree to an extent. They're great game modes, but because people use these to get better instead of doing like the fun game modes like Death Runs and such, it really just depended on what you use Creative and Playground for. 
But because people got good so quickly, even though before this people were still kind of bad, people got so good by season 6, and people say that the game died during season 6, I personally don't believe that. I think it survived way longer than that, because the game isn't even dead. It has a bunch of players still, but people who played the game for fun, those people are starting to fall off. Like, you don't really see those anymore. You mainly see sweats and stuff. The game seems to get better every season, but then halfway through, you start to realize how boring the game really gets, because it's still the same old Fortnite, just with a few new changes. And that's what happened to me. But now... Let's get into my most passionate topic here. I started playing Save the World in December 2018, and I loved the game from that point on. Like I mentioned in the Battle Royale section, I started to really get into Save the World more in Chapter 2 Season 1. I started that season at power level 50 or something, and then I hit power level 100 during that season, and since they added pickaxes to Save the World, I also tried to get the Save the World pickaxes, and I'm pretty sure I managed to get to like the, the laser pick, which is the second to last pickaxe. And then in season 2, I reached power level 131, which was the old highest power level, level 310, which was the highest overall level, and I got my first mythic weapon. These were great accomplishments, and I was very happy to do these things. But then there was a problem. Content came up pretty slowly. So if I would've hit power level 131 earlier, I would've gotten very bored. But luckily, I hit it late, so I still had mythic weapons to unlock, which kept me busy. But then in season 3, everything changed for the worst. At the start of the season, Epic released a statement about the state of development for Save the World. For the longest time, Epic said that Save the World was gonna be free, and they kept changing the date from 2018 to 2019 to 2020, and then finally, it went out of early access but they kept Save the World as a played experience. They upgraded everyone's Founder Pack to the next level, which did hype me up originally, and they replaced Founder Packs with the little Challenge Packs, which ended up getting released in the BR shop later on anyway, so that was a waste. And then they also said, and I quote, Over the coming months, Save the World would no longer be able to support all upcoming Fortnite Battle Royale cosmetic purchases, but your existing library of cosmetics will continue to function in both modes. They had just released the locker three seasons before, and now stuff wouldn't even be usable in Save the World? The freak? They tried to save this horrible article by saying they are releasing Ventures, which it seemed like a cool concept, but when it actually released, it was super boring and it was just straight up garbage. I streamed it one time, and then never played that crap again. All Ventures is, is just restarting from the beginning, but with garbage weapons, you can't get weapons from like your friends or anything like that, and you gotta farm stuff up again. This was Save the World's form of content. Sure, we got okay rewards like the new supercharges and core reaper, but power level 130 weapons are already fine the way they are. We don't need power level 144 items, and core reaper seems cool, but it's not really that interesting or useful, because all you need to do is just get another schematic, and you can get the correct 6 perk that you want. They also increased the max power level to infinity, so you can pretty much get to any power level you want, if you care about ventures enough. Not to mention that they also pushed me back down to power level 130, but I'm not really mad about that. They also slowed down content, even though content was already slow, so that was bad. But then the thing that really pissed off the community is when they said that the main story is complete, even though we don't have a Twine Peak storyline. Only a bunch of garbage quests that just make you complete missions. I still haven't completed that crap, and I don't ever plan on completing it either. Epic took a huge dump on Save the World, and it's really sad since without Save the World, the game mode that they actually care about, Battle Royale, wouldn't even exist without the foundation from Save the World. Like I even mentioned in my last video, they literally took models from Save the World in order to make the makeshift weapons. Similarly to Warframe, I've always hated when people say that Save the World is boring and there's nothing to do, as they're only in Stonewood, but now I get it. But that's only because I got to the point where there really is nothing to do, and I've been around long enough for that report to actually hit hard. So with that being said, I will no longer play or make content on Fortnite anymore. Epic gives zero shits about Save the World, Battle Royale is boring, and creative isn't that interesting to me. I still enjoy watching Fortnite videos, but I just can't stand to play the game for myself anymore. If you care about my Fortnite content, I'm sorry that I can't make content for you anymore, 
So if you do unsubscribe, I totally understand. But if you're still going to stay, then I hope you enjoy all the other content. And if you're interested in Cold War, like I said before, when I get my capture card, I'm going to do Cold War content. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you still play Fortnite, I hope you enjoy the game still. And I'll see you all with either Minecraft, Geometry Dash, or Warframe soon. Peace out, guys.